Hey everyone. All right, guess who went shopping? That's right, this girl. I went shopping. Okay, I didn't go too crazy because my birthday's coming up this weekend, and I just wanted to pick up a few things just here and there. Uh, I picked up one thing I really shouldn't have, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I don't even care. So, for those of you who don't know, I moved away from home, kind of. I'm living in a dorm for the summer because I decided to take summer classes at my college. So, that's where I am now. Look at my wonderful bed. And I'm just in my little tiny room. I might do a room tour. Just because I, I kind of like it. It's kind of adorable, so... And it's just nice to be in a new place, you know, because I don't like my neighborhood and where I'm from at all. So, yeah, it's just nice to be out here instead for a nice change of pace. So, since then, I've been running low on shower gel. I haven't run out of the one that I've been using, which is from Bath & Body Works, Man Mango Mandarin. But it's one of their classic scents, and you know how they don't carry a lot of their classic scents anymore. They're few that they don't care anymore like pearberry and mango mandarin among others but they only carry them they carry them online but you know it's not the same just going into the store and going and smelling it and all that but i love bath and body works um shower gels i just think they're really good and they smell good they're really moisturizing maybe not the best but they smell really good so that just blows me out of the water so i've been loving their scent paris amore and since they're having a sale, I said, hey, why not? I got this for like $3, and it retails for 11 So I thought, hey, why not? It's on sale. I'm a poor college student. <laughs> it smells amazing. I don't even know how to describe the smell, but I've been liking all the Paris and more stuff. I gave my mom a little set of it for her birthday back in February, but like, I don't have anything for myself. I kind of wish I did, but I mean, I'm shopping for her, so I don't want to go buy stuff for myself but one day I will stock up on all the stuff from that collection and just smell like Paris some more all the time just because it's... I really wish I could describe it to you because I want to say it's tropical but it's not really tropical but it's kind of floral but I like it whatever I like like scents okay so the main reason I wanted to go shopping is because I made a little promise to myself after spring semester finals that I would go and buy myself a new foundation why because there's the Chanel Vita Lumiere foundation, it's really expensive and stuff, but it gets like amazing reviews, so I figured, oh my gosh, why don't I go try it? So, obviously, I went and looked it up online first, and they just don't come in my skin color. Not at all. It's kind of a shame. I would really be willing to spell, shell out the money for that type of foundation, but since they don't carry it... But then a couple months ago, S.A. Lauder made one that was very similar to it, called their Invisible Fluid Makeup. And I went to Bloomingdale's because I wanted to try it out, see if they actually had a shade for me. And they did! So I went and picked it up. This is the box it came in. And I don't know, I just really like Essay Lauder boxes. They just kind of make me happy. They make me feel a little exclusive. I don't know. <laughs> Even though it's just Essay Lauder, but I shouldn't say that. They make really good products. I mean, I've been loving their blush like a couple months ago. But anyway, this is what the actual bottle looks like. And I'm the color... Let's see. See, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but I'm the color 6CN2. So it's kind of cool and warm, so for a woman of color, if you know, we don't really lean specifically cool or specifically warm. We're just kind of in between there. I know my skin is kind of funky with that. I noticed like some parts of my skin would be more goldeny yellow and then other parts would just suddenly be reddish pinkish. So, I think this is a really good match for me. I'm wearing it right now. And I I really don't feel anything. It's It feels extremely light. And the coverage isn't horrible. Like, I'm not wearing any sort of concealer at all. And I mean, um, I have a lot of blemishes on my chin. And the only one you really see is that really dark one right there. And well, you see, I don't have her skin either, but... I mean, it has pretty good coverage for, I mean, very water-based foundation. It's really watery. You have to shake it up before you put it on or anything, and it comes out really watery. I'm not sure you will be able to see that, but it comes out really watery. I've been using it with my hands since I got it. I only put it on, like, twice after that because, I mean, the day I, took it, the day I got it, I went in front of mine, and we both were just amazed with how it looked on us, and we were just like, I need to buy it now, I need to buy it now, so we bought it. 
and I really like it a lot. It's just really, I don't know, it's light, it's fluffy and stuff. I'll do a full review on it when I finish testing it out, but I really like it so far. And, well, the makeup artist there, really sweet. She was great. She matched our foundation really perfectly, but I also am a victim of larger pores around my face. Why? I don't know. I guess I got it from my mother, but they're just all over my face. Well, not all over my face, but especially, like, here right next to the sides of my nose, and I noticed a few around my chin, which kind of sucks, but what you're gonna do. So, she talked me into getting the Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refresher, and this is their larger bottle, and this was like $70. Oh, by the way, the foundation was $35, $35. And this was $70. Now, why did I spend $70 on a pore refining gel? Really, honestly, it made my skin look a ton better immediately. So, I mean, if this works over time, I don't see the problem, to be honest, because to me, it's more important to worry about your skin. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, makeup ruins your face, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, yeah, it does ruin your face if you don't take care of your skin, but if you're not using makeup and you're not taking care of your skin, it doesn't make a difference. It's almost just as bad. So, I picked it up because I did try out one from Maud, 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 I don't even know how to say it, from Sephora, and I had a little sample from an Ulta purchase I made a while ago, and I liked it, it just had like a tightening feel on my skin, and this is just really hydrating conditioning, you put it on before your moisturizer, so it fills in and like sucks up your pores before you put your moisturizer on, and I just love it, it smooths out my skin perfectly, and I've been covering that up pretty well with my Sephora um, primer, which I guess was just clogging my pores, but... Okay, at least now I have this. <laughs> so I know it's not just a primer or something clogging my pores, I know that's this working on them. Um, that was just a really, really tiny haul. I really went food shopping, that's about it, so... Yeah, um... I guess I'll come back to you guys with a birthday haul or something, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I might do a birthday haul, makeup collection, whatever you guys want to see. So, room tour, why not? But, um, <laughs> that's about it. So until next time, stay beautiful inside and out. Bye!